Good afternoon from Bush Gardens, Tampa Bay, and welcome to Bush Gardens Summer Nights. Uh, we are here on a Friday night to come and check out the brand new Phoenix Rising roller coaster. It is the first ever uh, family hanging roller coaster. Uh, so it is in preview, so I'm hoping to get back there and, and get on one of those. Then also just check out to see how Bush Gardens is. I've seen some crazy videos on social media. Uh, so I want to actually see how it is on the weekends here, which is going to be super exciting, super fun, and then hopefully ride some roller coasters. Right now, there is a thunderstorm uh, that is right over top of us that have all the rides down. Uh, but I'm hoping it gets out of here soon so then we can get on Phoenix Rising and then on a get on a couple of the other coasters uh, that I might have missed uh, from the past couple times I've been here. Um, so that's the plan for the night. We're just here to have a good time, ride some rides, hang out, and, and see what Busch Gardens is like. So thanks so much for tuning in. Let's go have a great night here at Busch Gardens. So like I mentioned, Busch Gardens is currently under storm watch. Uh, there are no rides running. Cheetah Hunt is right behind me. So we're just going to walk back to Phoenix Rising, hang out back there and see. So when it opens, we can get on it right away uh, and then hopefully get on some other rides as well. So I'm not sure if you can fully tell in this view, but there's a storm that is just sitting right here over Busch Gardens uh, that has all the rides delayed right now. So um, hopefully this moves in a little bit. The park does close in about three hours. Um, but that should be enough time for, for us to get on a few rides. It is Florida. There's always afternoon thunderstorms these days. Um, but hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll be able to get on some things soon because I'm super excited to get on Phoenix Rising. It looks like it's such a fun coaster. And then also just get on some of the favorites like Cheetah Hunt um, and maybe do some other ones as well. Another thing that I noticed as I'm walking to the back of the park to get to Phoenix Rising is it's not very busy. Uh, there are some crowds, like small groups of people that have been here for the day. But I feel like a lot of people have left already um, because of the rain that already came down or they just haven't shown up yet for a Friday night or people have seen what's been going on on social media at this park here, which if you haven't seen some of the crazy Busch Garden videos, uh, they're wild. So I wanted to come out here and check out to basically see is it still a good park to come to, especially with kids or is it, is it crazy? While we wait for the rides to reopen, I figured we'll come out here and take a look at some of the animals and hear some of the elephants. You can see they're like cover themselves in dirt to protect themselves from the sun and getting sunburned. Uh, that's a fun Disney fact for you that the Disney Safari gave me. But yeah, they are like covered in this sand and they also gave a bunch of sand there. So I guess that's where they um, they get it all from. But yeah, just trying to buy some time till this storm gets out of here, which is hopefully soon. And we've made it back to Pantopia and that is where Phoenix Rising uh, is located. You can kind of see it over there. Let's head back through Pantopia, which is like probably the most colorful section of the park. Uh, and let's go take a closer look at Phoenix Rising while it's not running and we wait for it to open. So we have made it back to Phoenix Rising. Here it is. Like I said, it's the first ever family coaster hanging coaster. Uh, it's two seats that hang next to each other. Uh, and then this is the ride track. Basically, you go up the lift mount over here. Uh, you come back down, you go around this loop, a little swirly swoo here, and then back into the station. Uh, right over here next to the uh, painted camel uh, is going to be where the lockers are for this ride. Um, but then the entrance is going to be back over here. So let's let's head over this way. And as we made our way back towards the entrance, you can start to see a group of people kind of hanging out, waiting for this thing to reopen uh, from the storm behind it. So hopefully we'll be able to get in and get a preview. Uh, let's go find out to see if we can get in uh, and ride. And this is the main entrance to Phoenix Rising. You can see that the sign's not put up yet. Uh, but this ride does officially open on Monday the 21st, uh, so this is the last weekend of previews. Um, but yeah, I mean, I can't wait to get on this thing. It's pretty quick, it's pretty short, but it is a family ride, but a great little addition and a great little, like, next incline for families um, as we, you know, as kids grow up and get on more roller coasters. So um, I'll give you my full thoughts after we get on it, but I uh, just wanted to give you guys one last uh, look. We are in the queue uh, yeah, this is what it looks like. I don't know what it looked like before because I wasn't around, but uh, this is this is it. It's a small queue, small ride. But yeah, now we're in. We're just waiting for the storm to go, and then and then and we're going on. Rain, rain, go away. Come again another day. The storm has moved away. The ride is back open, and we are finally moving in this line. Uh, the first couple people are going down the hill. I am so excited to get on this ride. We are only a few minutes away. Here's a look at inside the station when there's no train in it. Uh, this ride only has one train that runs 
um, at a time. So it is a little bit of a longer wait when it is on operation, but you know, that's how a lot of rides here at Busch Gardens are. I wanted to show you guys there's a full animation inside the station that happens while the car is out. And I think it like takes you along your journey. We are next up. Very excited after a long storm wait to get on this baby. There's a look at it. It's 10 rows and uh, two seats per. So only 20 people at a time. But here we go. We're up. Good job, everybody. So we just got off Phoenix Rising, so I figured I'd give you guys my thoughts. Now, I never rode uh, the original Phoenix, so I have no idea what it comparisons uh, to, uh, but that was fun. Uh, it's quicker than I thought it was gonna be. There's no inversions, um, but it like tilts you up high enough where you feel like you're going to be inverted. Um, but man, great ride. Definitely not like, I wouldn't say it's like a kid coaster, um, but definitely kid friendly. Um, I think 42 inches is the starting height for this, um, but man, it has some speed. It is only a minute long, so it is quick. Um, and like I said, there's only one train, so you're gonna wait a little bit longer um, than you would for like, you know, some of the other rides that have more than one train. But yeah, it wasn't bad. Okay, so I think we have enough time for a few more things uh, before the park closes and then I wanna get home. Um, so I'm gonna stay on this side of the park. I'm thinking Serengeti's Flyers and Poseidon's Fury maybe cheetah hunt if we have time so we're gonna head to uh serengeti flyers now i didn't get on that the last time we were here but we're gonna go get on that uh right now so let's head over let's head over there so we have made it to serengeti flyers and i noticed this on the rule guests with a broken collarbone cervical neck brace full arm cast or any leg cast are prohibited from running uh, no duh but yeah we're over here they're only running run side right now so it's gonna take a little longer but uh yeah can't wait to run this all right we are next up for this thing i am kind of nervous because i don't really like swing rides but uh See how it goes. Right, here we go.
This one's for you, it's for you, Steve. This is for you, Steve. Hope you enjoyed it. Oh, man. Oh, man. That was uh, something. That was something. Oh, man, that was something. That was uh, intense. It goes a lot higher than I thought it was. Uh, disoriented me a little bit just because being more than vertical. Uh, man, that was something. I'm going to try to film it so you guys can see how like high it actually goes. If you don't like swing rides, this is, this is not for you. But it was fun. It was it was thrilling. It was a good time. But man, I'm just a little little off my basis here. But all right, so now we're going to head to uh, Poseidon's Fury. I'm going to watch this one more time just so you guys can see it. Um, and then we're going to head to Poseidon's Fury, and then I think we're going to call it. We're going to call it from Bush Gardens. So, um, yeah, so let's do that. All right, here they go. This thing, like, actually, it pushes you hard. I would love to, like, look at the speed um, of this ride because this speed was so intense when you're flying back and forth. But you go more than vertical. More than, they're more than flat there. And it's doing the same thing on the other side. Yeah. It is, it is one intense ride. But, all right, let's go ahead to uh, Poseidon's Fury now. So we are coming up on Poseidon's Fury now. You can see there it goes being lifted up. I decided to do Poseidon's Fury over Cheetah Hunt just because I've never done this ride before and a lot of people have said it's really fun. So I wanted to make sure I got on it while I had the chance. But what would you guys have done? Let me know in the comments down below. Would you have done Cheetah Hunt, a ride that you know is good, or tried the new one and potentially end your night uh, on a ride that you might not like? I mean, I don't, I don't know. So let me know in the comments down below to see what uh, what you guys would have done. But let's, uh, let's go ahead on Poseidon's Fury. I'm very excited to get on this ride. And I'm coming in from the uh, back way. So you actually get like a really cool view of Poseidon's Fury from back here. It actually goes like right over us. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can get a picture of it going, going right over us. So hold on, let me see if I can get it coming back. Here it comes. I'm so excited to ride this thing. Let's go get in line. Luckily, I have a quick queue for it. Uh, so I'm just gonna be able to get right to the front. So uh, let's go get on this thing. I'm so excited. I also just realized I've been saying the name of this ride wrong the whole time. Uh, it's actually Cobra's Curse, not Poseidon's Fury. I don't know where I got that from. I am horrible with the rides at this park and the names, but yeah, Cobra's Curse is what we're going on. This queue is super fun. It's like we're going through the Egyptian pyramid. Ooh, beware of snakes. Indiana Jones. We already started, it's a moving walkway. Yeah, here we go. Well, I am so ready for this ride. So, gotta wait for the lift to take us up. Man, my hair looks brutal.
now we're sideways. Now we're backwards. And now we're going forwards again. All right. What a ride. That's got like a ton of different components in it. That was, uh, that was a fun ride. All right, and I think that is going to do it for us this time. Uh, what a great trip out to Busch Gardens. I mean, we got on Phoenix Rising at the beginning of this video. What a fun ride that is. Uh, definitely like next generation family coasters. Uh, super fun, more intense than I thought it would be, but not anything that I think would be considered scary. Um, over quick enough where if you are scared, you kind of close your eyes for a few seconds and then you're off. Uh, got on uh, Cobra's Curse, also known as Poseidon's Fury by nobody else but me. Um, Cobra's Curse was a lot of fun. I didn't realize how much it moved around and like how technologically advanced that ride is uh, compared to its time. And we also did a uh, Serengeti Flyers and boy, that ride is, is something. Uh, that one, that one knocked my head around a little bit. Even though it's just a swinging back and forth, it just dizzied me up a little bit. But, uh, but yeah, I think we're gonna call it. Uh, thanks so much for tuning into this video. Thanks so much for tuning into this channel. Uh, stay tuned uh, next week, uh, tons more content coming up. I have a mini vacation to Orlando, so I'm gonna be trying to do a bunch of new things over there, including a revenge trip to SeaWorld uh, to try to get on all the stuff over there that we couldn't do last time. Um, maybe even a water park hint hint. Um, so it should be a, a nice, nice slew of content coming from this channel. Uh, in the next couple days uh, more next week but uh yeah thanks so much for tuning in and uh we'll see y'all next time be sure to subscribe to this video be sure to like subscribe to this channel uh like this video uh hit the notification button uh and check this this channel out on all platforms uh facebook twitter uh instagram and then youtube so thanks so much for tuning in and we'll see y'all next time have a good one